you are also a cosmist in some way. And even though you see all this potential danger, you also, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, also find or used to, used to find the challenge so seductive that you would still continue to work on artificial intelligence. And is that not the case of everyone in this field from a scientific perspective, or is that also just the human condition? So maybe speak on those. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's a fascinating question. Um, yeah, I, I've been retired for 13 years now. Yeah, I got fired in 2010, and I had enough money saved from my pension when I was a professor in America. And if you, one of the great advantages of living in China for a Western is the cost of living. It's about six times lower. So suddenly you, your purchasing power just... <laughs> So I was living uh, as a pro when I was a professor in China, being paid an American salary, pretty much. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone. So they, they had to give me an American salary. But my purchasing power was greatly superior to what I was used to in America. So the, the, that that was uh, you know a plus. Um, so I, in the, in those few years, I'd give a lot of talks in China on you know this whole cosmic Terran you know, outlet war issue. And typically, at the end of a talk, I'd ask people to vote. You know, personally, you, you know, and try to keep it simple. Would you prefer to be, in in your heart, are you cosmist or are you terror? I didn't want to compl com complexify it too much. And, and typically, the, the result was 50-50, 60-40, 40-60. So it really divided people. And then, then I thought... My next thought was, hmm, well, maybe the issue is so new, people don't really have an opinion. They haven't really thought it through. And therefore, they're voting almost randomly. And so, of course, if they're voting randomly, they'll get roughly a 50-50 outcome. But gradually, it dawned on me, no, that's not what's happening. What's happening is, is at the individual level, there's a real ambivalence. Like, I, I'm terribly in Like, for example, I'll be sitting in a park and I'll, I'll be watching these, you know, cute little two-year-olds and, you know, they're just so gorgeous and, and, and they're, they're strongly evoking my grandpa genes. You know, oh, these cute, adorable little kids. And wouldn't it be a tragedy if there were an athlete war and that they get killed? So so then out, out comes all the Terran psychology, right? I'm Terran that way. But, uh, well, I need to explain a little bit. Ugh. I love big screens. So I'm looking at you right at the moment on a 75 inch, not 4K, but 8K <laughs> okay. television, high definition, right? I and can, I, I can see tonight, you pretty good. I can see you pretty good. Sometimes centered, kind of about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Go sorry. ahead. And uh, so, it's, so I have a triptych uh, uh familiar with that where i have a triptych of so three computer screens so to my left at 45 degrees is uh, a seven a 65 inch 4k and to the other side uh, to my right side is a much bigger one 86 inch 4k so i have three screens and so um especially the one that's in front of me that's 8k yeah with incredible sharp big screen resolution so when you're looking at it close up, you, like from a oh, meter and a half away, you you get the so-called immersion effect, like like the the, the solid angle of your your eyes, the, the screen takes up, so you you're only seeing the screen, and and because the resolution is so sharp, like 8K, and if you're watching, like a galaxy, or something, then I start feeling strongly cosmist. Right? You were saying a bit before, we pathetic human beings snuffed out in 80 years in a universe that's billions of years old. Like uh, the, the idea of, of human beings serving as the stepping stone, like the next rung in the ladder of evolution to, to what? To godhood, building gods. It, it, it's a very powerful, attractive force. So... I'm, I'm ambivalent, and I think my audience, was, you know, I present the arguments in favor of the cosmos and present the arguments 
in favor of the Terrans and, and just let the audience decide. And quite a few of the you know, smarter students would come up to me and say, oh, Professor, I'm so torn. I feel so ambivalent. I feel schizophrenic about this issue. On the one hand, on the other hand, and so on. And I'm, I'm the same way. I'm, part of me is definitely Terran, and part of me is definitely Cosmos, because this our whole universe out there, right? And you know, probably there, there are creatures out there way, way ahead of us. And what, what would one of the goals of these uh, Aplex B, I suppose, to leave the Earth in search of these these other godlike creatures. So, so you have here, and this is why I'm so afraid, in a sense, I suppose that's the right word. I, I see two bitterly opposed, bitterly opposed ideologies. On the one hand, the, the Terrans will be saying human beings are the sine qua non. You, we, we don't question that they, they are the reason for our being. They are our being. We don't, we don't risk the extermination. No way will we tolerate that these artifacts are built by the cosmos. The cosmos to us are the enemy. And in, in the limit, you know, when push really comes to shove, we Terrans, we will kill off, we will go to war against these cosmos, these few million cosmos. And the cosmos, their ideology, very powerful, saying, we want to build gods. There's a whole universe out there, you know, kind of cosmic consciousness. You're not going to stop it anyway for the, you know, the two momentum arguments I gave bit before, you know, economic and, and milit uh, political, military. So you're not going to stop it. And we cosmos, we're not stupid. We have our spies. We're, we're listening closely to what you Terrans are saying. So we too are preparing. You're talking 21st century weaponry, hugely more deadly than from the 20th century. Uh, if, if you look at the history of warfare in the 20th century, they were largely between nation states, right? Like Stalingrad between Russia and, and the Nazis. Uh, between China and Japan and so on, between nation states. But in the time frame, probably that we're talking about, that, 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 that this issue really heats up and starts uh, taking on military connotations, maybe uh, China and Russia will have democratized. I mean, there are about 130 odd democracies in the world today. Like, like as, as countries get richer, the middle class rises and rises. They get better educated. Uh, they go to university. They want to. They want a say in politics. They they don't want to be dictated to. So the, the rise of the middle class is usually the major reason why countries democratize. I mean, it's quite possible that Turkey, and you know, as we speak, Turkey may democratize in in, a, in a days. Right? So um, so imagine that process goes to completion, and we ha we live in a a fully democratic global, a planetary state, let's say in the next few decades or so, it's, it's possible. And then imagine you are a planetary politician and you're Terran. What would your strategy be? What would you do? So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, 
and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that want to join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. And let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you going to do? What's the choice that you're going to make?